Hey everyone, Complex back with another video and today today we're going to chat about SWOTOR and I specifically want to give you my top five tips for leveling your characters. When it comes to SWOTOR, I am obsessed with the story and creating new characters and seeing how everything plays out. But when it comes to leveling, I'm never quite as big of a fan only because a lot of my favorite abilities come later on within the leveling process. So today I wanted to walk you through some of the things that I do in order to help myself level a little bit quicker and to just well, enjoy leveling a little bit more. So let's just dive on into it. For the first tip, it has to do with the starter area of the game. Depending on what class door you pick depends on which of the four starter areas that you will start in. Within those areas, there is class story as well as a lot of little missions that are very quick to do. For instance, on Hutta, there's one mission where I believe both starting stories can get and you basically just go kill a few guys and boom, instant XP for not only killing the guys, but just completing the mission. So paying attention to what those little missions are that can be done quickly and efficiently will definitely help you net up a lot of XP. Then within those starter areas as well, there's either one or two heroic missions depending on where you are. And I do suggest after you get your first companion and you're ready right before you're ready to go and basically hop on a um, shuttle to the fleet, heading on over and getting that heroic mission done. The heroic mission will net you a fair amount of XP. You'll get some good credits for it as well as some gear that might actually be a lot better than what you currently have, especially because it's a little hard in the beginning sometimes if you don't have previous characters or you're a little bit newer to SWOTOR to get some good gear quick. So the uh, starter heroic area is definitely a good thing for that as well. Now, my second tip has to do with your legacy. So if you don't have a legacy started yet in SWOTOR, I cannot suggest enough getting that done as quickly as possible. I have an entire video dedicated to the legacy system, and I will link that in the description down below just in case you have any questions. Now, within your legacy system, once you open up the menu, if you navigate over to character perks in the upper left hand corner, you will see that you have a category called advancement. Now, within that category, you have a lot of different perks that you can purchase that will actually give you more XP depending on what it is that you'd like to do. For instance, there's improved class mission, there's an exploration one, there's a one for flashpoints, there's a one for starfighter, there's one for PvP, and so on and so forth. I personally, every single time I start a new character, the first thing that I do is open up my legacy and I purchase improved class mission as well as exploration, and I got those completely filled out. Each of the unlocks within the category is worth a, an additional 6% XP and those stack upon each other. There are five unlocks, which will net you 30% XP. Now, one thing to note is that depending on your legacy level will depend on what you can unlock within those rows. Now, for instance, if you wanted to get improved class mission as well as exploration fully unlocked, you do need to have your legacy at at least level 10. Now it costs credits plus the legacy level. So if you're somebody that is newer to the game and you don't have the correct legacy level, don't worry. As you level up your legacy, you can go ahead and just continue to unlock those perks. Of course, though, if you have a legacy that is at least a level 10 or higher, you can go on ahead and unlock that row fully provided you have the credits to do that. Now, tip number three is to always use those XP consumable boosts that you get in game. Sometimes for completing class story missions or sometimes a few other random missions, you are given a XP boost. Now, those XP boosts are set on a uh, specific amount of time. The nice thing about SWOTOR, though, is that once you use one of those boosts, if let's say it has three hours on it and you only play for 40 minutes, when you log out of the game, that XP boosts actually does pause. And then when you log back in, it just picks up where you you had left off so you don't need to worry about making sure you're going to be in game the entire time that you'd like to use it now once you hit level 10 on a character you can actually start doing your weekly personal conquest and for lower level characters right now with the newer conquest system that just came in you can get an x a minor xp boost as a reward which is once again going to help you level so if you haven't started doing your weekly conquest and you have a level 10 character, I cannot suggest enough hopping on in and getting that done to not only get the XP boost, but completing your weekly personal conquest nets you a few other things such as credits, gear, and so on and so forth. And it nets you a fair amount of XP as well. So it is definitely a good thing to complete. Tip number four is to always do the intro stronghold quest, even if you've already completed it. Now, if you're somebody that is newer to SWOTOR and you've never done that introductory quest, I will link in the description down below the video that I did that walks you through how to get it completed. 
Now that intro stronghold quest can either be done on the fleet or Coruscant or Droman Cost, depending on what side of the aisle you're on. The nice thing about this quest is it literally takes like two minutes to do. It takes longer to fast travel to your stronghold than it does to quickly spacebar through the conversation, hop on over to your stronghold, walk around for a few minutes and complete it, and it nets you a fair amount of XP. Not only that, but it's free decos and a fair amount of credits. And then you also get a few additional uh, bits of mail in the game that has more credits and a few other things that you might need. So if you're somebody that is definitely excited to get on uh, decorating strongholds or just owning a lot of different strongholds. This is fantastic because it's not only more XP and more credits, but it's also a way to get some awesome decos as you're going. Now, tip number five is to do heroics and flashpoints. You can do these solo or in a group and when you do them in a group you're generally going to net yourself some more xp than if you did it solo but if you're like me and you don't necessarily like doing Jeez. group content you can easily do these solo depending on what mode you pick for flashpoints i generally do story mode and for heroics depending on what level you are and what planet you're trying to do the heroics on will depend on how easily you're able to do them but they do net you a fair amount of XP for doing them. They will apply to your personal conquest if you haven't completed it yet. Not only that, but heroics and flashpoints tend to give some slightly better gear than you'd get just doing class story missions. So if you're somebody that doesn't feel quite leveled enough for whatever planet you're on, I cannot suggest enough maybe backtracking one or two planets and going ahead and doing some heroics. So for instance, if you find yourself on Nar Shaddaa and you're not feeling quite as comfortable with your gear and you're just like, why is everything underperforming? Head back to either Coruscant or Droman Cost, depending on what class story you're doing and go ahead and complete a few of the heroics there. You're gonna get yourself some nice uh, gear, some good XP, and you should be able to hop back on to, let's say Nar Shaddaa or wherever you were and keep going. So make sure you're kind of keeping Keeping that in mind as you're going along and as a bonus when you do flashpoints some of them will actually give out decorations as a possible drop from the various bosses so once again if you're somebody that enjoys strongholds and you enjoy decorating your strongholds this is a fantastic way to start that decoration farming for all of the uh, strongholds and now one final thing that I did want to mention is that there is something called a well-rested bonus in the game. Now this only applies to subscribers, which is why it's not considered one of my top five tips. If you are a subscriber, you might notice that occasionally your XP bar turns green at the bottom. That is your well-rested bonus. You get it from being in safe places such as cantinas, your ship, or your stronghold. And when you're there and you have that well-rested bonus active, you get additional XP for different things that you do. So make sure that when you're talking to anybody or completing a few different things, if you can be in your stronghold or your ship or a cantina, you will get some additional XP for doing it. And depending on how long you're in a well-rested area will depend on how long your well-rested bonus stacks and last so you can take that bonus out with you into the world and to get additional xp as you're completing a just regular missions but y'all that is gonna be it for me today those are my top five tips for leveling in a sword tour hopefully this helped if you were a newer player or just somebody that was having a hard time leveling overall if you have any questions leave it in the comments down below or find me on twitch i stream a whole heck of a lot and always happy to help when and where i can I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.